aunties. So I have baby Vegas here. <laughs> and Vegas is um he is the Monroe sculpt by Sandy Faber. But he was painted and reborn by Jeannie Teenies Nursery. And you know, he might can keep these white socks on, actually. Depends on what I decide to put him on. I forgot he already had on socks. Cool. Um, I wanted to get him dressed because he's cold and it's um, it's really getting cold here. So maybe I'll turn it there. Turn it off. That light off. It's like making him look all shiny. So I don't know. Is it dark in this corner? Sometimes it's like it's like be prepared, lady, when you do videos. <laughs> but anyway, I just be wanting their colors to come off as realistic as possible um, to what they are in person. I don't want them to look, you know. I hate. I hate. Well, I'm not going to say I hate, but I really don't like when I see like a really well done uh, baby and then you can't really see it because of the video or the pictures or whatever. So I try to be thoughtful of that when I do my videos. <laughs> I just love him. Um, but yeah, I'm, it is cold here. I mean, I can't believe how cold it is. So I have to get him into something warm because even though as much as I liked him in this outfit, it bothers me every time I see him sitting over um, in the swing. And he's got on this shorts and I know it's like 30 degrees outside so it just don't look good and it bothers me so I was going to try him on where's your diaper I was going to try him on either this or this I think this might be closer to his size or his diaper fell on the ground he could wear that. Um, that's a six month. This is like three to six months, I think. Um, I don't know what size this is. Let's see. It's three months. So, uh, three months would be good for him. So, let's change his diaper first. But, yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to, um, I don't want to put him on something that's going to be hanging off for him either. Close your little legs. Boys are not shy. <laughs> they are definitely not shy. He's like, change me, mama. I've been had on this diaper for the longest and I'm peedy weedy. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that is one of the beauties of if you guys have like a baby in 3-4 body. I think if you do the, if you actually do the um, white bodies, that's the kind of good thing about the white bodies. Is it kind of just looks like he has on a onesie here. Um, he does have on a white onesie, but you guys know what I mean. And you can camouflage a 3 4 baby and make it look like they have full limbs. Like what I just did. Let's see, look. He doesn't look like he has 
Look at this. He doesn't look like he have three fourth limbs when I do that. Look. So I could still pose him and he could still do diaper and t-shirt if I wanted to and be just fine. All you gotta do is buy a bigger, what I do is I put them on a bigger size diaper than what they really should be wearing. That way it gives more room on the sides and it just kind of cover up the cloth. And there you have it. So, what am I gonna do? Oh. See, when you're on camera, it don't matter if it's with my silicone babies or my re reborn. I get all frazzled and don't get it right. I gotta try to hurry up and get him dressed within my 14 to 15 minutes. I think I can get 15 minutes now, but I still try to do it within 14 minutes. Ah, oh, this is a onesie too. I thought it was just a shirt. That's okay. I always still keep him on a white onesie. Um, mostly because he's, you know, 3, 4. So, um, it's okay. He'll just have one too. And mommy just put that on wrong, didn't she? It goes this way. Yeah. So I'm really, really excited about my babies. I'm also seeing babies that I really, really like. Um, by other artists, but I'm taking a break. I'm going to enjoy my collection right now for what it is and save up some money because when I'm not buying babies, I can save money. I'm not still not going to even buy clothes like that because, you know, We buy so many clothes, and when you have multiple babies, the thing about it is, until every baby has wore the outfit, you really can get more use out of it. Because it's almost like, for me, I like my boy clothes they share, and they swap clothes, and they make it seem like they got on a new outfit, because each baby is going to look different in each outfit so sometimes I can put one baby on something and they look okay in it and then I can put it on another baby and they look just amazing in it so I don't buy as many clothes as I used to for that reason alone unless something really really catches my eye I just don't buy all the clothes that I used to buy because I feel like I got a lot of clothes in here and to me just like we keep buying you know babies once I have all the babies that I you know really really want it's greed I feel like over shopping is greed and I, I have to keep in mind that I have a family to take care of I have bills I have other things that I have to do Therefore, I have to be smart with my hobby and not overdo it because any too much of anything isn't good. So now I have my six babies. I have my preemie. I have my diverse mix. I have my Caucasian. I have my in-between. I have my um, African-American. I have my boys. I have my girls. I have my sleepers and my awake. Hey. That's all I need. I have my full body and I have my partial. So that makes me feel good and content. And I'm not going to lie. I have a wish list still. I think I will always forever have a wish list because the thing about me is that I love babies. I love dolls. And I love the dressing part. It's most of everything. Dressing and holding them. So I'm going to always see something that I like. But I don't have to buy it. 
and I love when one of my friends are looking for a particular baby and I help, I can ha help them look. So every time I see a really nice baby, I'm like, ooh, look at this. And if they get it, that's great because then I get to see it on their channel. And I'm not spending any money. I normally put babies on blue socks when they wear this but I'm going to go ahead and put him on these bright ones because he need on socks so and I don't know what I did with the blue socks but I normally put them on I don't feel like going through 20 drawers just to find those socks so these are Kingston socks but like I said they share so he's going to wear that got him on some hand mitts and there we have it and I may even put him on some shoes later um now remember what I was just saying about putting the babies on each other clothes almost every baby that have came through my nursery that was a boy have wore this outfit um Indies wore it um what was baby name oh my god I cannot think of his name anyway Indy Ward this other baby Ward um Jacory's Ward um yeah almost I think every boy that I've had have wore this this outfit um I don't think Kingston's wore it yet but he will. And they're even all different size babies too. It just fit that's why the outfits fits them differently on each one of them. But it's an outfit that I got from um Once Upon a Child and I really, really liked it and I forgot his bottle. I was gonna feed him with you guys. Oh man. But I forgot his bottle and I don't feel like getting up. I should get up. Get it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Getting up allows you guys to see how fat I am, so I try not to get up. <laughs> when he has his bottle, so you don't have your you don't have your bib, so you better not throw up. You know what? I don't think. He wants it. That's the problem. I'm gonna turn off the light. I don't think he wants it, to be honest. But yeah, so you see how that light washes him out. You can't really see his details as much. Here we have it. <laughs> he is. Whoa. Alright, I'll have to get that later. But yeah. So that's my little man. I'm so happy to have gotten him dressed. It was bothering me so bad, guys. You have no idea like how bad it was bothering me for him to for him to um have on those pose. We will see you guys later. Do you see them later, Vegas? <laughs> He's such a sleepy baby. So, yeah. Yes, Mama's baby boy. So, I will see you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and finish rocking him. <laughs>